Welcome back, guys, to Fox B 2s Ultimate Moto Vlogger uh, Championship. And this week, we are doing the comedy roast battle where I pit our final two contestants against each other, and they're going to do a no punches held roast a uh, battle. So, without further ado, let's get into it, guys. We got to talk about what happened two weeks ago and get on with today's episode. So, without further ado, here we go. I did count the votes, I did that earlier today. And it does appear that, Shigimoto, you have indeed received the most votes for elimination. Oh, you know what? No. I see it coming. <laughs> I was pretty however, good, though. However, however, circumstances have come up where I've been talking with Quick Shift 636, and he had to go to work tonight. And I was talking to him about it. He sent me a message uh, not that long ago that he wouldn't actually be able to make it due to circumstances that are beyond his control. And through talking with him, he said that he wants the, the show to go on. That, you know, even though he was not eliminated, if it comes, push comes to shove and because of circumstances are, that are beyond his control, he can't be here. That we should go ahead and finish the show. It's unfair for everybody else involved that we have to wait any longer. And I respect his decision. And I went as far as to invite him back. If I do a season two and more people want to partake in the Ultimate Moto Blogger, a championship, then Quick Shift 636 can be a contestant in the next round of this show, the next season. So that's a bit of a, a little twist there that oh, we discussed today, but that's kind of how it happened, guys. Oh, boy. I did not. <laughs> well, that is a twist right at the end. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean. But I got 18 six, bucks. Three, six, like, he was a great competitor, and he got this far in the competition, and like that's really legit to him to just be like that's okay i want the show to continue so like the least i could do was invite him back for season two and you know here we are boys it's it's down to you two for the comedy roast battle oh god why that's didn't you really tell me this one. well i mean th this is about as equal as it gets because neither one of us were prepared <laughs> for this <laughs> i know So guys, the format of this is you trade jokes. So one starts, and then the other has a quick second to say something back, should they wish to, and then they reply. So we're going back and forth, exchanging five jokes. We've had a format since the beginning. So Brennan, you're starting this off. Let's go. Joke number ah, one. All right. So rumor has it. Jiggy Moto doesn't actually have a face. He just takes on the look of whatever person wants to send him free merch. <laughs> I'll take <laughs> it. I'll take it. Whatever you got to send me, I'll take it. <laughs> That's all I got for the first one. Garbage. Okay, Jiggy. okay, Brendan. You know, you could do so much uh, like your wheelies, but you can't do anything like walk to your fridge and make a sandwich. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I see where you're going with the empty fridge route. Okay. <laughs> Come at me, bro. <laughs> so, Jiggy Moto, you got really big, really fast, like faster than any of us. And congratulations to that. It took hard work, dedication, and uh, just one video submission to Moto Madness. <laughs> <laughs> It was more like four, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> Come on. You know, it's amazing how you were able to pick up some chicks with your bike and, you know, give them a ride. But I kind of feel like that maybe you're like the real life Dexter because we've never seen those girls again. <laughs> good one. All right. All right. Good one. That was a good uh, uh, you can actually buy merch at jiggymoto.com store. 
He's got um, socks, stickers, key tags. And what they don't tell you is every purchase comes with a free pair of glasses so you can see the shitty decisions you've just made from buying his merch. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Brandon kidding with these tattoos? When you hear him talk, it's like Kermit the Frog and Bill Cosby had a baby. Oh, okay. Stealing what I said. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Uh, oh, God. Jiggy Moto, one of the only YouTubers with a small displacement bike like my own, that unfortunately using that bike can't outrun the own inevitable downfall of his own YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that's not true. Uh, <laughs> we'll see after this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Well, I had a feeling that you're going to say something about how I hide my face, but maybe you would have 700 subs if you hid your face too. Ooh, okay. Touche, sir. I'm going to go hide my face right now. <laughs> <laughs> and my last. Uh, one of Jiggy Moto's most viewed videos is a live stream where he gave away his $100 gift card to Amazon. What a surprise. Giving away free money would get you subscribers and views. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jiggy. I love you. <laughs> okay, I feel bad and I apologize. And oh, you know, this was all for fun. But when you cry yourself tonight, don't let those bony fingers pop your bed. <laughs> Air bed joke. Okay, okay. Come on with the air mattress joke. Touche, sir. <laughs> you know, I'm actually not sleeping on the air mattress anymore. I'm sleeping on a military mat. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you guys pictures later. I think that's all five, right? Yeah, we're that's good. All five. This was not as bad as I thought. That was, was, <laughs> uh, was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. I got to go get myself some Kleenex. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Jiggy. <laughs> I love you, man. It's all a joke. I promise. It's all good. It's all good, bro. Uh, well, I'd say you guys have to shake hands after, but you can't really do that over Google Hangout. But yeah, Brandon, go ahead and shake Jiggy's logo if you want. Uh, <laughs> and I'll just tap the mic. <laughs> but what really oh. matters is what the audience thinks. I mean, I thought those were pretty good back and forth. You know, good jokes were being written a few minutes ago. And. This week, the audience, I'm talking to you, you have to vote not for who you want to be eliminated, but now we're voting in the comments for who you want to win Fox P2's Ultimate Moto Vlogger Ah Championship. You're now vote for, for Jiggy. Who you want to win. So this is the big one, guys. Vote for who you think deserves to be crowned Fox P2's Ultimate Moto Vlogger Ah Champion. And I'm going to set this off so you guys can both say one last thing to the audience to tell them why you think you deserve to win this competition. Starting with you, Brennan, why do you think the audience should vote for you to be the champion? Uh, I think the audience should vote for me to be the champion because I have worked my butt off to get here. I have taped myself to get here. I have made some horrible jokes at a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying in front of people to get here as loud as I could in my my car. <laughs> and, uh, you know, hard work and dedication, you know. Uh, Stevie TV told me I had to take it all the way, and that's what I'm trying to do. And you can actually see me, so you should vote for me because you can see me. Ooh. Right and now to you, Jiggy. Why should the audience vote for you to be Fox Beach's ultimate moto blogger, a champion? You know, I had so much fun with this, uh, you know, doing that scavenger hunt and building that Santa suit and horribly singing my ass off in front of people who could see me. It was absolutely ridiculous. Um, I, I hope that there's a season two. I had so much fun doing this and uh, um, let the best man win. Sure. Perfect. Sweet. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much, guys. Honestly, this has been a lot of fun. I, like, you know, this is just, a silly little idea I had one day and I'm so thankful that you as well as the other guys, Ray Ray, Quick Shift 636 and Stevie TV wanted to take part in this. This has been so much fun 
And we're at that point now where it's up to the audience to vote. They're going to choose who wins this thing. Well, hold on a second. They're going to choose who they think is going to win, but ultimately the decision is mine. I mean, as it stands so far, I've sided with them because they've typically been right. So going forward, we'll see how this all transpires. And I really hope you did enjoy this. And best of luck to you both. Well, thanks. Thank you, Fox. <laughs> Thank you, Fox. Thank you, Fox.